Betty. Welcome to my kitchen. The recipe I want to share with you today is for a carrot ginger soup. It has one slight difference. I've roasted the carrots ahead of time, which I find really adds a nice bit of sweetness to this soup. So I've already prepared the carrots. And what I did, I have two pounds of carrots here that as you can see, I've cut up. I tossed them with a tablespoon of olive oil and some salt and pepper. And I roasted them at 400 degrees for about 45 minutes and giving them a toss every so often, three or four times during the roasting process. So in addition to my carrots, I have two medium onions that are chopped. They don't have to be chopped terribly finely because we are going to puree the soup at the end. I've got salt and freshly grated pepper, uh, a half teaspoon of salt and about a quarter teaspoon of pepper, which you can adjust to your taste, of course, when the soup is finished. I have a tablespoon and a half of grated ginger and a tablespoon of olive oil. I've got four cups of vegetable broth and a half cup of heavy cream, which will go into the soup at the end. Now to grate the ginger, I use this Chinese ginger grater. It really does a great job because you get sort of the pulp of the ginger and it leaves all the stringy fibers behind. They're available in most good uh, kitchen shops and very inexpensive. Alternatively, you can of course grate it on a grater. So now I'm gonna take all these ingredients over to the stove and get our soup started. I'll start by adding about a tablespoon of olive oil to my pot. And toss in these onions. I'm going to let these cook, oh, for about 10 minutes or so, just until they start to brown. Again, it brings out the flavor and the sweetness of the onions. Toss them to get them mixed with the oil, and we'll let those cook. Oh. All right, you can see these onions are just starting to brown a little. I've got some little brown, which is called fond, on the bottom of the pot, and so I'm going to add my ginger, give that a stir. And then I'm going to pour in all of this vegetable broth. And I'm going to let this come to a boil and let it boil, or, or simmer, I should say, for about five minutes just to get the raw flavor out of the ginger. All right, our onions have simmered. I'm just going to stir in our salt and pepper and add the carrots. Now, as I said before, these carrots have been cooked, so they're nice and soft. I'll just let them go for a minute or two, and then I'm gonna use my immersion blender to puree this mixture. lumps left in here. Now if you don't have an immersion blender, of course you can do this in a, uh, in a regular blender. You might want to let the soup uh, cool off a little first though before you do that. Uh, simply reheat it for this final step that I'm about to show you. And to finish this off, I'm going to add a half cup of heavy cream. Stir that in. Just give it a nice smooth finish. And there you have it. Carrot ginger soup. Enjoy.